welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and I am a senior photographer right here in Richmond, Virginia. And this YouTube channel is just my little corner of the social world where I like to share some helpful tips and tricks for your senior photography business, whether you are a beginner or already full time in it. Um, this channel is for you and I hope you are able to learn something from it. in senior photography as a hobby turning into a business I really had no idea where to start if we're being honest but I loved what I was doing and it seemed to be working out pretty well um, so today I'm going to walk you through three steps that you can do right now like as in today um, to start growing your senior photography business and get the ball rolling I'm not gonna dive too deep into the whole legal side of things of setting up a business and that part of growing your new business, but I am going to dive into three steps that you can take into action right now to get the ball rolling and get your senior photography business on its way. I actually wanna start off with sharing that I have a super, super easy way that you can jump like four steps ahead in your business and immediately look more professional, look more trustworthy, and ensure that you're having some awesome sessions every single time. And that is through the KMP shop. And this is my little shop that I have that is full of lots of templates and guides so that you can easily customize to start growing your business and educating your clients and really just take that next step into looking a little more professional and providing ways for your clients to know that they're heading into an awesome, awesome session. Not only that, but it's also going to help save you so much time in creating these tools from scratch because these are things that everybody needs in their senior photography business or engagements or families. You can really customize these to whatever you want. Mine are specifically for your senior photography business, but you can always, you know, adjust to make them however you want. But these are tools that everybody uses in their business and will be sure to save you lots and lots of time um, because all you really have to do is go in and change the images. All the text is yours, um, specifically in the senior session guide, which is my favorite one, to be honest. But yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Step number one in starting your senior photography business is to simply just start shooting. Just get out there, start taking photos, Text your friends that you have class with, or maybe you're an adult and you have a neighbor that has a daughter, go knock on their door, ask them if you can take some photos of her. Literally just start taking portraits of people. That is the number one thing that I can give you advice on is to just get out there. Just start shooting, just start practicing with your camera, start practicing posing your friends or, or your pretend clients, your models. When I was in high school, I started when I was a junior in high school, I drug all of my friends outside. I wanted to take their pictures. At the time, I was obsessed with America's Next Top Model, and so I was making them do all kinds of funky poses, but it got me outside, it got me practicing. I learned how to use my camera. I learned lighting on my own and it gave me confidence to when I did have somebody ask me if they could pay me to take their photos, I felt a little more confident in what I was doing because I had had so much practice in the beginning. I'm being so serious too. Like literally just get out there, grab your friends, grab a girl that you know, um, or a guy. I don't know why it has to be just a girl. It could be anybody. Um, and to be honest, it doesn't even necessarily have to be a senior um, as long as they are young and look like they could be in high school. You're on your way. <laughs> Not only does this help you get practice, but it also starts creating a little bit of a buzz that you are doing photography. Because when you send them back their photos and they're like, oh my gosh, these are awesome. They're gonna start telling their friends and their friends are gonna start telling their friends. And it just creates this buzz and gets the word out there that you have this new hobby, this new passion. Um, you are starting this new business journey and you want to be taken seriously. And so this is going to help you just get a little bit of a buzz out there. So you might be asking, what do I do with all these photos? Well, that leads me into step number two, which is you gotta start posting. You gotta start posting to Instagram, to TikTok, to Facebook. 
you just need to be posting every little thing that you're doing and I mean every little thing it can be behind the scenes of packing your camera bag it can be you posting that you're out location scouting and showing some really beautiful locations that you're at it could be you charging your batteries or it could be um, a time-lapse video of you editing a session or it could be announcing that you sit on a gallery that day it literally can be anything that you are working on for your photography business for this journey you gotta be posting it because the more you start posting the more in demand you're gonna look even if you necessarily aren't um, we all know the phrase fake it till you make it and honestly it works and it's true um, the more you're posting the more behind the scenes it's gonna get into more people's eyes um, and it also it takes people seven times to see something to register it that it's happening so you might feel like you're posting a lot about it but in reality the digital world is so fast right now that I mean you could be posting something and somebody could like it but it's not really registering in their head that you are offering this new service this new photography business so just keep posting and posting every little thing there's a TikTok sound that go that's going around that's like everything is content everything is content or something like that and that is so so true like literally just take behind the scenes photos or videos of everything and while that is kind of focusing on like behind the scenes and kind of extra content obviously you want to be posting the, these portraits that you're taking too and it does not matter if you're posting 10 photos from the same session just keep posting them i mean you could take your senior or your model to three different locations and get so many different looks that people aren't going to realize that you're posting the same thing more than once and the great thing about social media is that not only are your friends seeing it but people in your community are able to find it as well especially if you're posting on instagram and TikTok. um you can have clients from anywhere because people all over the place are going to be able to see your content especially if you're um, hashtagging specific locations like for me i could post downtown richmond or maymont park um, in my hashtags or location tags and more people are going to see these photos and then find your page and then fall in love with you and be more open to booking with you so step number three i believe is the most important thing out of all of them and that is to start learning investing in education whether that's full paid courses whether that's hopping onto YouTube and watching free videos, wink, wink, like my channel. <laughs> it doesn't really matter where, but just start learning. Start learning how to use your camera properly, um, AKA shooting in manual. Start learning about lighting and the best locations to shoot in. Start learning how to pose your clients super naturally to make them feel comfortable and look super flattering. Start learning how to create automations in your business and they organize. It's a lot, I know, from personal experience, there's a lot to take in and a lot to learn. And to be honest, you're never going to stop learning in this photography business. I mean, to this day, I'm in a master business mastermind. I've been in the game for almost six years now, and I feel like I learn something new every single day. So it's it's not just a one thing you learn super quick and then you're off, you know, being a pro. You will always be learning, and there's so much to take in and new things to try, new tools to incorporate. But you just gotta get started. You just gotta jump in and you really have to invest back into your business to grow now i know i said a few steps back fake it till you make it low-key and yes that's true but you also have to know what you're doing you have to start learning you have to start picking up the camera and shooting in manual learning how to change your shutter speed learn your f-stop learn your iso learning all the things that there is to know um, to be the best that you can be, to be able to provide some amazing portraits for your clients that you're going to have. So if there's one piece of advice that I could give you to start your senior photography business, it's to start learning and investing back into your business from the very beginning. There's no really right time to start, um, but start as early as you can. <laughs> In the super early stages of my business, I mean, I really 
my business, my hobby at the time, I really wasn't making anything because I was taking what I was making from a session and pouring it back into my business and myself to learn all that I could to, to grow and to grow as fast as I could. And I would say that investing into education was the most helpful thing that I did for my business to grow and to become successful. All right, so those are my three tips for starting a senior photography business. And I hope these things were helpful for you. And if you haven't checked out the KMP shop yet, I will obviously link it right down below. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please, please do and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, I will put a little thing right here with my name on it, but it's at kelseymarie.photo. And you can follow me over there for more tips all the things, all the photos, it's where I'm at most of the time. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next week in another video.